Welcome to one of eight wind tunnels here at the National Research Council. I am joined by Guy Larose. He is a research officer here at the Aerodynamics Lab. This is a pretty cool place. Yeah, it's pretty nice. How awesome is that? Every day you get to come and work here. It's just fantastic. It's so, just what exactly good. was the uh, the wind tunnel initially built for? It was built for testing uh, aircraft. I think it was part of the war effort in the 1940s. Yeah. And uh, it has served very well the purpose of Canadians. I think almost uh, every single aircraft has been built in, in Canada, been tested in this facility, and it's still being used right now for that. Okay, and now for those who haven't noticed, I'm half geared up in my snowboard wear. What are we going to be testing um, on me today? So we're using the, the wind tunnel as well to test athletes, Canadian athletes, for uh, preparation for the Olympics. Yeah. In your case, you're going to be, well, you're going to try to find the fastest position for you okay. in the wind tunnel. Okay. So, uh, and how are we going to do that? I mean, we've got my snowboard here. So what we are going to do with you is exactly what we do normally with athletes. Mm -hmm. We ask you to come as if you will be uh, doing, uh, preparing for a race. So you have the entire outfit. We're going to ask you to put your coat, your helmet, you have your so snowboard. You're mounted on a balance, on a force balance that measures the aerodynamic forces on you. Okay. And then we, in front of you, we project the drag coefficient mm -hmm. and you're trying to reduce this number. The lower the number, Okay, so the number on the bottom, That's I want right. to get that as low exactly. as I possibly this can. This is your speed, the speed at which we're simulating yeah. you going traveling. And and then this is uh, the CDA, the drag coefficient, and you're trying to minimize it. Okay. And so, let's see how low can you go. <laughs> yeah, really. Woo. Okay, so how exactly does the wind tunnel work? Uh, it's a very large, current, large, large corridor, yeah. you can see. Uh, about two stories down, there's a big fan. The fan is actually sucking the air through the test section and it's coming back. So it's always the same air coming back, but actually wind tunnel really suck the air through the test section. Here, what we call this, this is a test section. In front of this is a very large area. Mm -hmm. It's called the settling chamber. And we have in the settling chamber, we have some screens that reduce the turbulence. The idea is to any turbulence created by the fan uh -huh. has been uh, absorbed or killed by those, those screens. Okay. And you have a nice current of air on you. So how fast can the air potentially go? In this case, we can go up to 400 kilometers an hour. <laughs> okay, but on me today, how on fast this, are you going to go? Uh, we we'll think we're going to go 45. Right, 50. and the maximum you've ever done for an athlete, you said, is about 70, right? For, for snowboard athletes, it's about 70. Okay. We have done higher with uh, higher speed with athletes. We're working with uh, the alpine ski team. They like uh, they like the 140s. Okay, okay. Well, let's keep it low for me. <laughs> I'm going to get suited up, uh, strapped in. You guys are going to be seated over there. Uh, Let's get testing. All right. All right. Good luck with that. Yeah, really. I'm going to need it. I've seen. I've seen when you were actually trying a speed skating position like this. This was your fastest. Yeah. But the hood. It's very bad. Yes. It's like, flopping all over. Shouldn't have that. Yeah. Right. And what exactly. else would you change about my outfit? Uh, I would say your helmet. Does. I don't think it needs to have. Um, like it has some kind of lip. Yeah. It's not so good. Uh, for sure, you have to have a, an outfit that is tight fit. Okay. And then I know for for snowboarding, it's uh, it's part of the culture to have ample clothes. <laughs> and this is something we had to work with. Right. Uh, but if you are uh, if you want to go faster, the 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 more fit 
the suit on your body is, okay. the fastest you'll be. Tighter you helmet, want? tighter clothes. Hey, there could be worse yeah. things, right? And then uh, when you take your position, try to reduce the frontal area. The area in which you're facing the, facing the flow has to be as small as possible. Front, okay, tighter clothes and uh, go on a diet. <laughs> thank you so okay. much for having us today. How Good cool is this? Good luck with your season. Huh? Yeah, thank you very okay. much. Now that it's come to an it's end, I finally end. figured out how to go That's the fastest. Right. Right. Stick around, there's still plenty more coming up on CTV Morning Live. Thank <laughs> you.